adjustments against TCU that paid big dividends. Former WNBA Coach of the Year. She's done a terrific job here in Baylor, just her third year. These two teams last met two years ago in Cancun. Before that, their last meeting was back in 1996. Long-time Southwest Conference foes. It's a series that actually Houston has dominated as a result of not playing Baylor for the past couple of decades. Bear is able to work it down low in the first two points off the glass from DLB. Dariana Littlepage books. Great ball movement by Baylor on that first possession. Houston in the man to man. Baylor coming back likewise on the defensive end. Peyton McFarland's getting her second start of the year, her second straight start as she made her first against Aoka Lee and K State the other night. They'll leave her in there for her size in the post. Houston's one of the shorter teams in the Big 12. Nice defensive rebound by Bella Fonderoy that time, blocking out well, securing the ball against Houston's quick double team. Kata Walker, your preseason newcomer of the year in the Big 12. Back to last year's freshman of the year, Little Page Bug. Second chance opportunity, what a feed. Had no choice but to put it in for another pair. The dime from Sarah Andrews. Yeah, Sarah Andrews leads this Baylor team in assists, but how about that great move without the ball by Dariana Little Page Bugs? A little floater from the elbow. Nia Boyd with her first two points. It's her fourth collegiate stop. Pride of Mesquite, Texas. Now you were talking about 1,000 point scores. Boyd has already won. How about Sarah Andrews? Last possession. Great assist. This time coming back with another three. One of the leading three point shooters in the night. Ron Huey has already made his first two changes. Brittany Anuje from down the road in Pflugerville, the former UCF Knight from the American. They'll look on as the triple from Layla Blair, first team all conference last year in their old home in the American. Well, Layla Blair's hit double figures eight games in a row. Nice drive by Little Page Bugs just didn't reward herself with a good kiss off the glass. The other new face on the floor off the bench now, Jasira Diawara, the senior out of Mali. Later, tough half court man to man defense. Here is the international player doing some international banking here in Waco. Now, Diawara that time got the lucky bank off the glass. It's the end result that counts. Oh, nice move again without the basketball by Little Page Bugs, breaking strong to that pass. Came back and scored 49 against the Horn Frogs in the second 20 minutes of action. Now, Little Page Bugs is Baylor's best offensive rebounder. Nice pressure defense by Baylor trying to keep Houston uncomfortable. Patterson trying to feel some contact, but instead takes some steps. Walker head down, draws the double team, and draws the foul. Uh, Jada Walker has terrific quickness. We've already seen eight on the floor here today on behalf of the visitors from Space City. Off the screen, Fontaroy. Yeah, she's taken up where she left off Wednesday night, made five out of six against DCU, drilling her first one here today. Averaging 11 points. Nikki Collin, of course, third year at the helm of these Baylor Bears, making the program very much her own now. As Baylor right now. Well, that was a nice quick move to the basket by Diawara for Houston. Showing her quickness there against little Paige Bugs on ball defense. A 5 0 run for the home team, prompting that last time out for the Cougars. Baylor in a 2 3 zone cut against that out of bounds play under Houston's own basket. Peterson able to corral it. Again, Bria 14 point shy coming into today. Now Patterson had the good shot right there. Nice job by Houston attacking the middle of the zone. 14 point shy of 1,000. And now there's a two more from Edwards. Talk about a 1,000 point score. Dre Edwards, the score on that bucket is already there. She transferred to Baylor from Kentucky. And a step back three. Perfect stroke. Yeah, Nia Boyd. Boyd. I tell you, that young lady can do it. She's already a 1,000 point score. She did it 
those combined points at UTL Paso and Houston. Andrews, little pirouette, drew some contact, wanted the end. So a 10-3 run right now for the Bears. How about Bria Patter? Yeah, nice defense by Houston switching on that play to quickly cover Bella Fauntleroy. Will Page Bugs going up and getting it. Heaving one up, a couple steps behind the arc, Boyd off the mark, and the Cougars one and done. Andrews to Will Page Bugs. Kick back to Andrews. You and a thousand point scorer coming off the bench. Now she's very, very aggressive. She actually ignited uh, Baylor's effort against TCU Wednesday night. Oh. Inside two minutes here in this opening front. Very predictable on out-of-bounds plays under the opponent's own bucket. Baylor always seems to play 2-3 zone defense. Did it again there. Blackwell, baseline, bucket. Yeah, how about that nice assist to Jada Walker? Good hands by Asia Blackwell in track. Cougars have missed their last four uh, shots until that one goes how down. How about that shot by Layla Blair, the leading scorer for this team? Goodness gracious. Including in Manhattan where she got a cut under her right eye but was able to battle through it against the Wildcats. She gets her teammates involved. That one won't fall. A foot race. Blackwell leading the way. Oh, a nice body balance by Asia Blackwell. Four points in a row for her and for Baylor. Nice job. Nice soft touch in traffic. The Baylor Bear from the Show Me State. Blair goes right at Van Geitenbeek, who holds her ground. Edwards up ahead. Blackwell. She's on a little 6-0 run of her own here at the Foster Pavilion. Yeah, but how about the job by Blackwell running the floor, beating all the red shirts down. Terrific job by Asia Blackwell. First quarter in the books. First visit to Waco for the Cougars in the lifetimes of these players. Now those other three schools that are have four wins against top 25 teams, South Carolina, UCLA, and UConn. So Baylor and big time company there in that list. We're seeing Madison Bartley for the first time for Baylor on the floor now. Here is Bartley double team down low. Great rotation, and there's the three-point stroke that was reignited by Asia Blackwell against TCU. Now that's nine points already in today's game for her, playing just four and a half minutes. That's three threes in a row she's hit coming off the TCU win. Two for two there in the last quarter, one for one here to start. He's perfect on the day, four for four from the floor. Unimpressed, Malia Johnson able to knock down a three of her own. Now she's averaging in double figures for this Houston team. Very good shooter. She's a transfer from Pittsburgh University. Little Page Bugs with three Cougars in the vicinity. Undeterred. How about that move by Little Page Bugs? Use that left hand to drive into the paint and just jumped up and over the shorter Cougar defender. She's already met her season uh, there's, average. There's the star for the University of Houston. That young lady was first team. Great rotation. Shot just won't go down. Each team with five points here to start the game. Nice spacing on that possession by Baylor. Good ball movement. Pass it quicker than the defense can move. Oh, Blair nice finally gets one. Had her a couple of times last season. What she's doing so far today does not surprise me. First Cougar and A little page bugs. Two out of two at the charity stripe so far today. Make that three. She's preseason all-conference selection this year. Two out of four from three land now for her. Drop down, foul on. Doing good things now for the Cougars. Her best game as a Cougar against Florida AM. 8.6 rebound. 0 for 2. But Baylor giving up an offensive rebound. Lose the release there. Everybody else enjoying the new sight lines here at Foster Pavilion, apparently. To walk. And 
Already 12 points again for Little Page Pugs, and she'll add an assist to her. That was a great play by Baylor, that high post to low post action. Little Page Bugs very good from up high. As that air ball fell into the lap of the sophomore. And Jana Van Geitenbeek with the basketball now came into the program last year from Stanford. Defender went down a little too easily to draw the whistle. A one-handed rebound and over the back call. A little less than six and a half to go in the little different offensive results here today. Of course, Sophia Young is uh, back here in Waco these days. Her former teammate in San Antonio in the WNBA, Ty Dillard's on the Houston. Letty Boscancelos, the 6'7 freshman, coming on the floor now for Baylor. Uh, the freshman from Brazil. And how about Bella? Oh, Poked away by Fomeroy. And there's Vasconcelos picking it up. Will they reward the freshman down low? Fomeroy left wide open in the corner. And the Brazilian with the rebound. Yeah, nice offensive rebound. A couple of times been coach of the year in this conference. 20 to shoot. Five minutes to go here in the opening half. Extra pass to Van Geitenbeek. Pays off for three. Think about it. You can't teach 6-7. She was born that way, and they hope to develop her. Oh, nice job on the pitch. Again, Peyton McFarland getting her second start of the year today. A quick release from Van Geitenbeek. A tad strong that time. The Baylor, as they have been the whole game, half-court man-to-man, except for a couple of times when they were zoned. Houston had it out of bounds. Oh, how about that? Nice drive once again by Naya Boyd. And Naya was welcoming contact. And seven points now in the opening half. And on the other end. The... But today, Baylor seven for seven from the line. And just like that, her free throw percentage skyrockets from 50% to 66%. Yeah, both these teams good free throw shooters. 73% for Houston coming in, 71 for Baylor. Anytime you're over 70, that's good. The former Stanford Cardinals now a 75% free throw shooter. Limited sample size. Oh, good ball movement by Houston. Good quick. Johnson gets her own miss. Good footwork defensively by Van Geitenbeek as Boyd went quickly to the baseline. But how about that? Just jumping up and over the five foot five inch Van Geitenbeek. Nine points now for Nia Boyd. Now Dre Edwards back in for Baylor here with a minute 10 to go. Renee Fritz seeing her first minutes now on the floor for Baylor. Yeah, Bella Fonneroy did not get a good strong finish there. Kind of flipped that ball up instead of going strong and drawing the foul. Bella's going to pick up the whistle on the other yeah. end. Johnson is 79% free throw shooter coming into today. The Bellers played 11 players so far in this first half, accounting for their 13 point advantage over the Cougars. There you go, Yaya Felder now only nine points away from the thousand point mark in her career. Shot clock turned off. Houston should be able to hold for the final shot. They could very well hear outscore Baylor in the second quarter. Off the glass, won't go. So Baylor. Among just a handful of unbeaten teams left. Underway with the second half here in Waco. Yeah, Jada Walker starting the ball game in the second half for Baylor, averaging nine points per game, did not score. After that awkward landing near the end of yeah, the second after quarter. After Danae Fritz made that good ball fake, uh, Boyd hit the turf and well, hit the hardwood, I should say. Baylor has won three national championships and has become a national power. But is that because they didn't have to face Houston? No. Okay. <laughs> Not to take any credit away from Houston, but uh, they just did amazing things. 
I don't think we've said anything controversial. Edwards to Little Page Bugs. Six assists in this game. Nice job. Post to post passing. Step inside the arc this time. No, ma'am. Uh, good job there on the defensive boards by Dre Edwards. She had 10 rebounds against TCU earlier in the week. Edwards looking for points six and seven now. Yeah, against Texas uh, last Saturday in Austin had 18 points and eight rebounds. Edwards trying to force the turnover. And ultimately it's going to be called for the fence. It's Baylor ball. Now Baylor up by 18 here with eight minutes to go in the third period. Fonteroy called for using that off arm. Houston has not pressed at all this afternoon. Usually this team is very relied on full court pressure. Edwards with her presence being felt. Transition here. Dre underneath with the bank. How about that assist to Jada Walker? Good head fake by Dre Edwards getting the defender off their feet. Nice job by Dre Edwards, the transfer from University of Kentucky. Now nine points for the former Wildcat. Johnson measured a couple times. Two on two. Uh, good judgment by Little Page Bugs there, not to force anything. Good transition defense by Houston that time. Fomeroy from Edwards, a seventh assist for a career high. How about that for give and go at its best? Fomeroy just passed it to Edwards on the ring. Baylor, as they have been the whole game, half court man to man. Nice drive that time. Baylor's made their last four shots from the floor. To establish a 20 point lead now. Andrews has a double team. We'll head to the first free throws for Andrews today. Baylor is a team now nine for nine. Beat Alabama in the first round and lost to UConn in the second round of the tournament. Sarah was the lead. Seven to shoot. Yeah, good on ball defense that time by Sarah Andrews for Baylor, but Baylor coming right back. Intercepted by Anya J. At the air ball a moment ago, draws the fan. Of Houston, at least mentally knowing that they're going to be trying to shoot up and over some long arms for Baylor. Now, well, Baylor basically has three six-two players. Or little Page Bugs that is really good at perimeter defense. Now, Jim, got the long arms. People talk about height all the time on defense, but those long arms are big, big. So back to a 20-point margin separating the two midway through the third quarter. Walker over to Andrews. Yeah, when serves. That's her third make from beyond the arc today. Blair trying to bully her way past Fonteroy, who does just enough. You know, Baylor now has seven three pointers in the game. Walker somehow <laughs> fits it in. That ball was trapped between the legs of the Baylor and Houston players, and she just stayed with it and got the finish. Four bears in double digits. Edwards with 11 now. And that one mismeasured from Aaron. Edwards, no look to Walker. Kick out, Andrews open from the corner. <laughs> Movement by Taylor. Look at all the happiness on the floor for the white shirts. Up by 28, they've made their last seven shots, an 8-0 run. And plenty of more memories, no doubt, to be made. Uh, the Baylor faithful. Well, Baylor at the end of the uh, first half was shooting 51%, now up to 59% for the game. Yaya yeah, yeah, Felder with the defensive rebound, but quick turnover. Turnover leads to two from Aaron. Normally, they are offensive igniters when they come on the floor. Walker still looking for her first basket of the game. And she is 0 for 3. Yaya Felder, one for two. Walker, his newcomer of the year into the Big 12 Conference. A lot of respect. And we have already seen a fifth foul now in the day of Jones. Yeah, you know, Baylor's 13-0 uh, coming into this game. Seven of those wins by over 16 points. 
How about Asia Blackwell feeling it here this afternoon? Well, hung her way to a possible season high. That's her 13th point of the game. She averages nine a night. Uh, well, well drawn up. Shaping up beautifully in the box, and her teammates getting the high pass to her. And a chair merchant. Oh, nice, smart defense by Madison Bartley. Edwards with another. Her Baylor's outscored Houston this frame 24 to 9. And they're about to add that here with Yaya. Felder with the layup. Yeah. Merchant finds the big post player. I know you are considering going with that look today, but <laughs> we're just worried about whether people would think you were. In yeah, person. there's the other. Final seconds, not sure if Van Geitenbeek knows about the clock. Fires up a long two off the mark. Great home courts in America. I know they're averaging over 19,000 a game for their men's team. I'm not sure what it is for the women, but that's a great place, the Marriott Center. But the retrofit over there in Houston a few years ago as well. Blackwell trying to share the wealth after the turnover. Yaya. There it is. Yeah, yeah. Baylor has put up at least 20 points and now the last five quarters of basketball. Well, nice drive to the, one of the athletic powers in the southern part of the state. Whipped in down low. That's an easy. Kept that left big toe anchored. Felder feeling it. Draws the contact. We'll have a chance to. After six turnovers to half, Baylor has five here in the second half. Mentioned the former Ohio Bobcat from Hartford, Connecticut. Just does beat the five-second clock. Felder, two on one. Yaya trying to share the wealth. Blackwell. Line intact for Baylor this afternoon. Yeah. She's more worried about the perfect... Yeah. Start in the win column. Oh, goodness. It's Baylor 13 and 0, and less than eight minutes away from making that 14 and 0 for the first time since they went 40 oh. and 0. Like the way transfer from Eastern Arizona Junior College. So two Brazilians on the floor right now for Baylor. Fritz. Yeah, Baylor now back to their normal half-court man-to-man defense. And Guyton Beek and Felder, the two guards on the floor for Baylor now. A little kick out. And the three. Oh, telegraphed it. Picked off and headed the other one. Trey Edwards not on the floor, but had a career-high seven assists today. Now Baylor with three guards on the floor now. Felder, Van Guyton Beek. And Danae Fritz, how about that? Yeah. Evidently, everybody's very aware of that monumental achievement. Well, good job by the freshman, Letty Vasconcelos, going to get the long rebound. Baylor had numbers, but we'll slow it down. Pereira. Geitenbeek in for the closer look. How yeah, about that? Nice. And five bears in double digits today. Another rebound for the freshman Vasconcelos. Dene Fritz down low. And Ferreira. Ferreira is now. Makes them both. In, hitting 72% on the year. Or 5 of 13, Baylor 14 of 16. Make the back end as well. Yaya. Well, Baylor certainly giving Yaya the opportunities to get that 1,000 point mark in her career. Oh, giving her 1,002. 
had that three gone down. Anya Jay. Glad a three-pointer to her resume. Yeah, she's second all-time on the three-point leaderboard at the University of Houston. Very outstanding on the perimeter. And is Felder going to have a chance to go to the line? Now she'll have two attempts to try to crack that 1,000-point mark. I doubt if most of the fans know the significance of this effort, but it certainly you can tell her teammates do. And probably, obviously, she does. Her teammates know. There you go, 1,000. She's now the fifth 1,000-point scorer for this Baylor team. She doesn't act as excited as her teammates do. <laughs> well, she becomes the fifth Baylor player in double-figure scoring. And now is 1,000 points shy of 2,000. Merchant. Yeah, Merchant's come in and done a nice job here in the latter stages of this game. All right, Baylor can just about for the final shot if they want to fire one up into the rafters as time expires on the shot clock. Felder trying to slip it down to Letty. And uh, again, you're always taught if you have a 6-7 teammate, do not negate that advantage by throwing it at their ankles. Yeah, exactly. A bounce pass to a 6-7 player is not the best idea normally, resulting in uh, Baylor's 16th turnover of the afternoon after only six the first half. But when you play 12 players, those things uh, normally happen. Baylor's going to improve to 14 and 0, their best start in program history since going 40 and 0 and winning that national title in 2012. The Baylor Bears, just as importantly, off to a 3 and 0 start in the top Big 12 conference as they knock off the Cougars. Well, certainly Baylor very impressive from the opening tip.